Grand Seiko has been around since the 1960s when they first announced their 3180 as a response to the competition against the Dany factory. Now Grand Seiko was run by a factory called Sua and ever since then they've been making exceptional watches. But it seems Grand Seiko only started to become more popular as of late and in my opinion, this is the watch Grand Seiko has to thank for it, the SBGA 211 or any reference of the snowflake. But guys, before I get started, make sure you check out exquisitetimepieces.com. They're an authorized dealer for Grand Seiko and many other brands. They're the ones who supply this watch in for review. So if you're interested in this watch, make sure you check out Exquisite Time Pieces and let them know that you heard about them from this channel and they'll hook you up over there at Exquisite Time Pieces. But guys, before I get started, my name is AB, I run the Watch Collecting Tri Productions, and today I'm going to be sharing with you the Grand Seiko Snowflake, arguably Grand Seiko's icon, and the watch that basically put Grand Seiko on the map, even though they've been around since the 1960s. It's no question that if you ask anyone if they've ever heard of Grand Seiko, they most likely heard of the Snowflake. So guys, let's check out whether or not the SBGA 211 is still worth it in 2020. If you're new to Grand Seiko, it's completely understandable why you would wonder why pay 10 times the price of a Seiko simply for the addition of the word Grand. Well, to fully understand this, we'd have to take a closer look at the history of Grand Seiko. Now, I'm not going to bore you too much with details, but here's what you need to know. Back in the 1960s, the Japanese decided not to bother with competing with the Swiss. Instead, they competed with it themselves with two factories, Suo, which housed Grand Seiko, and Dany, which housed King Seiko. Now, of course, in the 1970s, we know that the Japanese decided to basically disrupt the entire watch industry with a new technology called Quartz, but that's a different story. Today, we're going to be focusing on Grand Seiko, specifically the SBGA 211, and I'm going to be telling you guys why this watch changed Grand Seiko forever, even though they've been making incredible watches since the 1960s, but this specific watch changed the brand forever. Let's take a closer look at what you first get when you get the SBGA 211. Now, of course, the first thing you notice when you pick up this watch is the dial. But we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Allow me to first tell you guys what you feel as soon as you unbox this watch. The first thing you feel is this watch is actually very light. Now, that's because Grand Seiko decided to go with titanium for a reason. But that's something to note, if you want your watches to be a little bit heavy, this watch is extremely light, which actually is a positive for me personally, because it makes the watch very comfortable on the wrist, but that's something you note immediately as soon as you unbox it, the watch is extremely light. Now the next thing you notice with this piece is the style of the watch. Allow me to explain. When you first look at this watch, it looks like a watch that leans towards the dressier side, but as soon as you unbox it and you feel that 41 millimeter case, the thickness, everything about this watch actually makes it more of an everyday piece in my personal opinion. This watch does not dress up too well purely because of that size, but of course that's just my opinion. Now the last thing you notice is the bracelet, which is the first big disappointment with most Grand Seikos. It's not the best bracelet out there and that's where I could find Grand Seiko could use some room for improvement. In 2010, Grand Seiko introduced a watch that little did they know was going to change their brand forever, and that is the Grand Seiko Snowflake. This watch changed the brand forever simply because this is the watch that spoke to collectors the most. Although Grand Seiko never changed the way they make their watches, they never changed the quality of their pieces, this is the watch that spoke to collectors the most, and it even went a little bit mainstream, which changed the brand forever. So what is it about the Grand Seiko Snowflake that changed the mind of collectors and the mainstream world about the brand? Of course the dial had a big thing to do with it, but it's not only the dial that changed the mind of collectors. This is the watch that was able to showcase to people what Grand Seiko is all about. 
and that is the art of perfection. As a reviewer, it's almost a challenge for me to find any imperfection in their dials, in their watches, on their macro, and that is what Grand Take was all about, to make their watches as perfect as possible. Now allow me to give you guys the specifications of this watch before moving on to a closer look at that dial. Now this watch has a case size of 41 millimeters, a case thickness of 12.5 millimeters, a strap size of 20 millimeters, and finally lug to lug, which means top to bottom of 48.5 millimeters. Keep in mind when you're trying to figure out if a watch should fit your wrist, you should check the lug to lug size rather than the case diameter. Of course the diameter is important, but the most important factor is the lug to lug size, which in the case of the Snowflake is 48.5 millimeters. Grand Seiko released in 2019 one of their best collections they've ever produced. And that is their seasons collection that they created for the USA market. They created the summer, the fall, the spring, and the winter. The reason why it's my personal favorite is because I consider Japan to be the most beautiful country in the world. When taking a closer look at the snowflake, you get a sense of relaxation and calmness that you don't necessarily get with most watches. That is what Grand Seiko can provide with their dials. They can provide art, seasons, and of course emotions, which is almost impossible for you to get with a materialistic item. Now the artisans over at Grand Seiko perfectly explained why they came up with the Grand Seiko Snowflake. Over at the Shinshu Watch Studios, when they take a look outside of the window, they see the freshly fallen snow, which is where they got the inspiration for this dial. As you guys can see, it has a sort of snowflake texture, which is where the watch got its name. Now in the famous words of John Mayer, look closer and then look closer still. You could only appreciate this watch under macro or under a loop. Now of course, we have to talk about the engine powering this watch, the 9R65 spring drive movement. Now if you want to learn specifics about the spring drive movement and what it actually is, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I have a full episode explaining what the spring drive is. But to keep it short and sweet, you get a 72 hours of power reserve, you get an accuracy of plus or minus 1 second per day and approximately 10 seconds per month. And that spring drive caliber is the reason why you get that extremely smooth sweep on the Grand Seiko. But we're going to have a full video explaining what the spring drive actually is. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that episode. Overall, if you're considering the SBGA 211, don't hesitate. This watch is absolutely stunning. It's a great everyday piece and it's the most iconic Grand Seiko out there. So you can never go wrong with the Grand Seiko Snowflake. All you have to do is look at that beautiful dial. But guys, what do you think about the snowflake? Do you like it? What don't you like about it? Let us know in the comment section below. And guys, thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you in the next one.